too. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second game of the semi-final match here between the Red Terran Hihihio down here in the bottom left of Cloud Kingdom, and up top here in the top right, the Blue Zerg, Ling Boy's new favorite, Dynasty Odin. Well, besides Nesty. Besides Nesty, well, we all love Nesty. Everybody loves Nesty. Nesty is insane, and everybody likes it for it. But anyway, yes, as we were saying um, before we get into this, uh, what were we saying before we get into this? Okay, it doesn't matter. He 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 -o is up one game nothing. This is game two of the best of three in the second finals. Uh, Ling Boy. Yes? If you were in Odin's position, what would you do as our resident Zerg player? Well, first of all... Since he went really greedy play last time, I would try to put on some really aggressive either Zergling Bailing Pressure or Roach Pressure if you scout out that he's going Nexus, Nexus, uh, <laughs> Nexus, <or> whatever, <laughs> that building. The day Terran gets a Nexus this is the day I agree they're OP. But uh, yeah, no, no command center first here, Barracks coming down for Heo. Uh, spawning pool, 12, 13 pool, what do you want to call that? I probably 13 yeah uh, so yeah I pull before hatch so I think you were right on the aggression part the point the thing is is a uh, heel gonna actually expand after this yeah you just go and gas pool so uh, speedling expand possibly and you don't really see that ever <laughs> <versus> <laughs> <Karen>. <laughs> wait a second what Evo chamber what Evo chamber. what Maybe some weird plus one circling timing, I don't know. He sees the Evo chamber. I, I don't know what to make of this. Uh, if I was looking at this, I'd be like, wait, what? If this works, it's going to be the best strategy in the world. But what's he going for? That's the I have no clue. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of being paranoid about banshees, but that's not for another three minutes. Uh, I, I mean, I really... Huh. I'm at a loss here. I really am. Huh. The expansion comes down for uh, for Heo. Nothing too surprising there. I expected at least an expansion after that. Is this like a one base all in? I don't know. Well, he's got he's thrown and he's got the queens. I don't know where he's. Aidling laying all in. Did he hear? He, did he hear me? No. Yes. Game? Why would he get the Start Evo here. chamber? Cause he thinks that when you go for a Bailing Ling all in, you make an Evo Chamber. I, I Ma Manor Evo Chamber? Well, there's the Bailing list, yeah. Manor Evo Maybe Chamber. <laughs> I think you heard me in the last game saying Ling Bailing all in. That sounds awesome. I don't care who you are or what you are. Uh, i just wondering, why does he have only two guys in his gas? I, I want to know why he has that Evo. This is going to be the crazy... Wh whatever this ends up being, it's going to be like so either so awesome or so anticlimactic. Three, rack, uh, three racks coming down here for He sees Odin, it, so, so I think it's going to make racks. Yeah, yeah. so no, nothing too out of the ordinary from Hio's side. Uh, everything out of the ordinary from Odin's side. Ten Zerglings is going to bring him up to, what, 16 Zerglings. Uh, is that another pair? No, that's an Overlord. Yeah, supply block, so he's got to wait for that Overlord and... Hitting his inject, so at least that's a pretty good turn. I don't know what to make of this. I really don't. Maybe I misclick? I have no idea. You know, because he made the Evo Chamber, canceled it to send the five minerals back, and then made it again. Maybe it's just a, a pl weird plus one timing. Karen sees everything, though. But he hasn't He hasn't started plus one either. Uh, he's going to wait for... No Maybe... This is uh, gonna be a, oh, he's just going to bust down the front, but I don't get what the Evo Chamber was for. In case Banshees came, I have no clue. Alright, uh, but, he's got to avoid this watchtower he's going to be picked up on. What's the defense look? Oh, the bunk, the Brax while he's reading this like a book. Yeah, he, see, he saw everything. He knows exactly what's going on. He's reading this like a book. Like a biscuit. And the... the how many banelings is he gonna get? Uh, he can get about eight, I think. That many. Yeah. And. Eight that many. 
There's no marines in the bunkers, and he's gonna try and knock down the front to start with. I don't, I don't. Uh, agree I with don't this. like that. Oh, gonna, I don't like he's that. He's losing a lot. Uh, that, that was that was too much to lose right there. He's gonna get the hatchery behind this. Um, but if this fails, oh, he always salvaged it. He salvaged it. If he sends all the banelings in, if he blocks that, if he blocks the marines out of the bunker, that could be huge. And the oh, that's not cost efficient. That's really not cost efficient. Oh, that was bad. That was that is why you don't a click banelings. No, you don't, because that would stink to be a banling too. Yeah, <laughs> well, it would stink to be a banling. Period. Uh, there's a follow up here. Another five banelings and a handful of more, and he's gonna get the SCV. So this this uh bunk this racks is not gonna finish. He's trying to defend us with all marine and one good banling hit could. Yes, but he oh. has to get the banelings through the wall. I don't, I don't know. He's gonna get through the wall. Yes, but the marines—they're spread out. The speedlings get in there, but there's too many marines. There's too many marines, and the rack goes up again. Yeah, it's, yeah that spread saved him. He's uh, not even that. Just the sheer number, because spreading I, against speedlings is just bad. I, I hate to call it early, but I—I I mean, he's down. Odin is down 15 workers. I mean, Heo at this point could probably take a third, in which he's getting a third. Uh, getting a few more racks as well, he's making that one racks. Uh, throw down double uh, eBay, and just kind of roll with it. Yeah, Odin's basically dead at this point. Yeah, or scan and know that there's basically nothing there. He's going to try and get the layer. Extremely late layer. Uh, infestors would be a good transition at this point. Um, well, if, if any unit can win a game, it's Infestor. Yeah, Infestor is kind of the only thing that can win the game or save the game at this point. Um, I mean, if he pushes, he's gonna kill Odin, and just like that, he's gonna he's gonna take down the Overseer. That's gonna supply block Odin, who starts three Overlords. After the game, if Odin loses, uh, am I allowed to tell him that he needs to saturate his gas geysers better? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Dynasty Odin saying, I didn't like him anyway. Oh my god, TPZ is such Oh, a he nice. didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go, bro. Um, I suppose uh -huh. he's gonna try for the Baneling landmines like he did last time. The problem is, bro is at least a minute, it's a, it's over a minute away. If these Banelings spawn, like, right when the Marines are well, come the, up. Well, if the Banelings come up, like, this hill where Line of Sight is not, then maybe, but he, he's he's wise to that. He's going to send the Marine up. And this is going to be just an iron tight hold. If these Banelings broadside him, he sends the Banelings backwards, gives Odin time to split. Uh, one Baneling for half a Marine, that's not good. And he's got a... He's got a, He's got them surrounded, and he gets a few good baneling hits. Not that many. He needs to follow up with some zerglings. 18 following this. He might be able to clean up this attack, but like I said, starport going down. He's now got a fourth uh, turning into an orbital. Uh, double eBay going down. Hasn't started the plus one yet. I uh, might not need to. And here come the links. He's got those marines in such a good position. He's got to gather up all these links together and then push and even that might not be enough. Now he's going to clean it up eventually. Just look at that. Look at that. Units killed. 76 units killed. I mean, that's brutal even for Zerglings. It's, it's basically two base to one base still. I mean, yeah, the expansion for Zerg. I mean, look and at I the income. Wanna, I want to say even more. Three base it's about to be. Yeah. And 3.5 bases, technically. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's almost three to one here. Actually, I think that is three to one. <laughs> nice math. Hey, hey, I failed statistics. Sue good me. job. Sue me, all right? I failed chemistry, too. I am going to sue you. <laughs> you can't sue me. I'm Terran. <laughs> spire going down. Where's the spire? The spire is in the oh, natural, there it is. I believe. Wait. No, it's in the main base. No, it's, is it in the main base? Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. It's right oh, above uh, the... Up oh, yeah. Wait, what? Mineral line. Oh yeah, look. I'm sorry. The blue glow, right, like right. I know. Next to the it looks like a drone almost. It, no, it looks like a mineral patch when it when it turns blue like that. And I, I see the health bar and the status bar, and I'm like, there's nothing there. What what is this? A glitch? And he's got the barracks wall up on the rocks. 
it's gonna take the watchtower. He he cannot push into this. There's no way he can overtake this. There are too many marines. How many marines is that? That's 27 marines. That will take out a ton of zerglings. And the medevacs, he's getting the tank. Tanks have siege mode. One one's about to finish. Is the armory going? The armory has armory is down. I mean, he 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 is playing this like man. A smurf. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, no, he's not a smurf. Yeah, that he's someone was complaining about him being a smurf earlier. I don't think he's quite smurf, no. No, not He's not, good though. He is very good, I mean, I don't know, and he's gonna just drop in here to take some take some more pressure. He knows there's no third. He's got the SCV just chilling there. I, I don't know how Odin comes back from this. I really don't. I mean he needs infestors. I don't agree with this mutilus play at all. Uh yeah. You don't need at this point. Uh, double medevac. Unless he has some godlike muta control. He, he would have to be Nesty, and even then. He would have to be Nesty plus Idra plus Marine King Prime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine Marine King Prime? Well, Marine King Prime would never play Zerg. Lime. Not, not enough micro. Yes. <laughs> uh, only six, five mutas Yo. right here. That's not going to do anything, really, I don't think. No turrets. Might kill that overlord. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I did that last night. Oh no, right. no reaction here. The Marines are right there. He could he could stim in and kill these and he's gonna stim the um uh, kind of so get away. Or not. Well he's not No trapped. not the engineering base, don't kill the medevacs, kill the medevacs, oh, kill the free medevacs. medevacs. That would that's big. Uh, a couple turret a lot of turrets going down here and he's got the bank to support it. Medivacs baiting those uh, mutalics back into the mineral line. Here come the marines. The marines might clean this up, and there goes one muta, two muta, three muta, four. <laughs> one muta, two muta, three muta, four. <laughs> and just like that, any five muta, six muta. <laughs> I mean, any damage that 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 uh, that move might have considered. And he and loses the, dro all the, the drop here is killing all the banelings. I mean that that looks ineffective, but in reality he just dropped on all of the banelings and killed them brutally oh, in the I... in the bunker block. <laughs> Odin's actually not doing too bad in staying in this game. I mean, considering how far down he was. I, I want to say that's more because Hiheo has uh has kind of not tried to kill him yet. Well, yeah. And, and Odin is like it's GG already. Uh -huh. So, uh, well, let's see if he plays it out or if he actually is going to Well, I mean, he is playing it out. He's getting his oh, third. Oh, yeah. That's good. Uh, but this push is just going to kill him. He's got 1-1. One, one. Does he have 1-1? One, one? Uh, he does <laughs> have 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I, has, think, I think Odin's got this guy. he has 1-0 for his team. Hiheo doesn't know that he's so far ahead. He's like, is it <laughs> GG for me? <laughs> yeah, TVZ, um... He actually, see this is the thing, Zerg is so weird, you always seem like you're behind. Even when you're not behind, you are yeah. you seem behind. And Zerg, they're like, they're weak but strong. Like, it's yeah. weird. Yeah, I mean, I've hold, held off many a Baneling bust and then died because infestors came along. And I, don't, I don't know, it's kind of that fear that... Zerg and Terran, that whole thing, and he sees the Banelings, he sees the Zerglings. 2-2 two, two is about to finish in about 40 seconds. Oh, oh no. He could wait oh, for no. that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my oh. god. Oh, oh my god. Not he. <laughs> now that, that's what he needed. The problem is, <laughs> there's not enough still. Oh wow, that was... That was still worth it. Yeah, that that was that was epic, even if it doesn't. That was worth him staying in this game. Oh ho ho! What is up? Oh, uh, the G the GG from Odin, but that was totally. That was not. That was really well played. That was totally worth it. Oh my god, I'm gonna remember this replay for a while to go. That was cool. I'm saving that replay. Uh, yeah, yeah. You you, you you everybody watching, you're gonna be seeing that game at least once more in your lifetime. Um, all right, so that's gonna take care of that game. He he he! Oh, beats Dynasty Odin two to nothing.